But if you close your eyes Yo guys, Mint Game here, welcome back to another video. To start with, I just want to say that I've seen the Avengers Infinity War trailer too, and I did plan a video for it, but it would have been a bit late to upload it considering that every other YouTube channel has already gotten to it. Anyway, today's video is still going to be something to do with the wider Marvel Universe, and let me know if you like me doing videos on things that aren't purely focused on Spider-Man PS4. But if you'd like to see superhero videos and mainly Spider-Man videos, then make sure you subscribe if you're new. Now, with Insomniac publishing their next-gen Spider-Man game, I started thinking about other Marvel games that would be awesome. So today's video is Top New Marvel Video Games That Should Definitely Happen. Let me know if you enjoyed the video and leave your comments for what you'd like to see next. The first Marvel superhero I think should definitely get a game is Daredevil. I feel like a AAA Daredevil game is long overdue by now due to Daredevil's rising popularity. The game would be a unique and awesome experience to play as a blind superhero. Daredevil's radar sense could be implemented creatively in many different ways. It could be a constant thing where we're literally seeing the world how Daredevil would, or it could be more like a detective vision where the player can activate it on and off. The game would have a much more gritty tone than most Marvel games, especially if Daredevil's origin is in the game. Now, Daredevil can't perceive colour without touch, so the game's colour palette would be different and abstract, like a breath of fresh air. Although Daredevil hasn't got any superhuman physical attributes beyond radar sense, he is a master of martial arts due to being trained by Stick. This would be so cool to see in an origin flashback or something like that. The combination of martial arts and Daredevil's baton would make for a great combat system, especially due to the baton's many uses. Also, the baton's grapple cable could make for unique traversal. It would be like a mix between Spider-Man and Batman. Overall, this game would be a brilliant way to really give the character glory and recognition that he deserves. Next on my list is Doctor Strange. Now, Strange is becoming more popular recently since his film's debut, and Avengers Infinity War may even increase that popularity further. Doctor Strange's supernatural or magical abilities would really separate this game from any other Marvel game and be a fresh experience for the player. A quick origin story or flashback would be a great chance for gameplay. The player could drive the car themselves and really feel immersed in the deadly accident that takes place. And then maybe we could snap back to current day later in life where we play as Doctor Strange after the accident. When we play as Doctor Strange later in life, the Sanctum Sanctorum would be an amazing base for the player to resort to any time in free roam. Doctor Strange's mastery of magic and skill in martial arts would create a dynamic combat system devoted to the character. Strange's cloak of levitation enables him to fly, so free roam and traversal would be a new experience for the player and we would never get bored of it. Third on my list is Black Widow. Black Widow is a much more well-known character now, especially with her inclusion in the MCU. She is also another character with an interesting origin, quite a dark one as well. Maybe at the start of the game, maybe in a flashback again, we could see Natasha Romanov in her early years being trained and brainwashed in the USSR's Black Widow Ops program. It would be cool to see her with the other orphans in Department X, where she was biotechnologically and psychotechnologically enhanced. Throughout the game, Black Widow could find more truths about her past and realise that the false memories she was given are all lies. And maybe that could be the driving force of the game where she's trying to get revenge. Romanov is an expert tactician, martial artist and secret agent. So gameplay will stay fresh and it won't get boring. Widow's gauntlets provide knockout gas, a taser, explosives and tear gas pellets to make combat great. 
There's also a grappling hook and motorcycle for traversal. Also, she has a radio transmitter for communications to stay in contact with other characters. In conclusion, a Black Widow game would really be an awesome way to get the character's story out there. Last on my list is Iron Man. Now, a great AAA Iron Man game is long overdue in my opinion. I feel like there's just so much potential. Tony Stark's armour has so many abilities that the game could last forever. Stark's insane wealth could make the player feel rich themselves. We could drive fancy cars, explore Stark Tower, speak at parties and control a multi-million dollar armour. Tony Stark's origin could be referenced in the game, but it isn't really that necessary as past games have already showed it and the MCU has also. The Iron Man armour gives Tony superhuman strength and durability, energy repulses and missile projection, and regenerative life support, and so much more to ensure epic combat for this game. Also, supersonic flight would make for great free roam traversal. Just imagine the scale of destruction that is possible with an Iron Man game. Every single mission could be action-packed and epic. It would be a great feeling to control the armour and do the classic superhero landing. We could reenact different scenarios that we've seen on screen, and we could really feel like we're inside the armour ourselves. Stark's genius could also be explored in the game, maybe in segments or even free roam as Tony Stark. And maybe at any time during free roam or Tony Stark gameplay, we could just call for the armour at any time and jump into it mid-flight. There's just so many possibilities for an Iron Man game, and I feel like this game needs to happen. So that is the end of my list, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you all so much for the support recently, and subscribe if you are new. Be sure to leave any ideas you have for these games in the comments, and also any games that you think should happen. As always, be sure to leave any suggestions you have in the comments below as well. Let me know if you guys like my videos being less focused on Spider-Man PS4 all the time, but don't worry, I'll still make loads of videos on Spider-Man PS4. Today I have shoutouts for Raphael Nista, The Muffin Man, Austin Pascal, Bodyhead 2.0, and everyone who watch, comments, likes, and subscribes. So with all of that said, that is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm Mental Gamer, over and out.